Welcome back to Waller Life, guys. I'm Katie Waller. Today for you, I'm going to be painting a dream catcher. Um, I have a serious fascination with them. I don't know why. They just really attract my attention. So we're going to attempt that for you. Hopefully it comes out great. I'm sure it will. Um, one last tip that I didn't mention in my last art video. This comes in some serious handy when you don't have anything to put your paint on. The coolest thing since sliced bread. Like this helps me out so much. It's really easy cleanup. You just wrap it up and throw it away. So I'll be showing you later on in the video how I use this. You ready to get started? Cause I am. Let's get going. So I'm taking a bit of a break uh, that way I can kind of explain to you what's going on um, I'm doing it in pencil that way once I start painting I can kind of edit it a little bit if I want to that way it's not permanent I can just kind of fix it um, as far as what I've got so far I pulled it from a bunch of different references and just took what I liked and and I'm gonna go with it my mom actually used to hang dream catchers above my bed so it would catch the bad dreams and so we would have good dream good dreams as children um, so it's very symbolic for me and has a lot of meaning. And so once this is done, it's going to go above my bed so I have good dreams. So I wanted to do this in real time so that you can see the mess that I'm about to make. Hopefully it'll be fun for both of us. We're going to dab our brush. I'm so scared. Oh, goody. I told you I was going to make a mess.
wants to use this uh, varnish for her painting. She did a beautiful job on. And I would actually like to do the spray paint thing. So that way I'm in this video too. Y'all gotta have a lot of Y'all, he's just doing my dirty work. I need my man to do my dirty work, that's all. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a couple of coats of this and we're gonna show you how we do that, okay? Okay guys, so what you wanna do is you wanna have a dirty towel or something that you're gonna just throw away. You don't wanna put uh, any of the paint or the lacquer on stuff that you don't want it to be on. Um, because we're outside, it's kind of windy today. Um, it may or may not stick, but you want to try and have a mask. I don't have a mask. This is just doing it on the fly. It's okay. I'm going to use my shirt. I'm going to look like a ninja for you guys. But we're going to put three coats of this on there, and we're going to show it. Turns out the colors. So this is my final product. I'm super proud of it. I love the way that it came out. Um, I did a lot of things with this that were a first for me. Um, you see, I've got Bruce Lee's quote here. He is a huge impact on me and my husband. We try and live by his words. And so I got to use new things this time around. I got to use a splatter art and that was really fun. I got to get really messy, so that was interesting. And then I've got neon colors. I've never used those before, so it came out really good. I'm really excited about it. Can't wait to hang it up. Uh, let me know in the comments if you would like me to do something for you guys. I would love to. Give me some new ideas. And uh, comment, like, and share. We love those comments. Love those likes. We'll see you in the next one. And don't forget, go be awesome.